Hello everyone. Welcome to Students Point. This is 26th of June and today we have to see 11 important questions. So be attentive and be focused till the end. And to get PDF of all these videos, you have to join me on Telegram by writing the channel's name like this. There on you will receive all the PDFs. You will recognize the channel with this logo there. And if you are finding my videos useful, don't forget to like it and share the video with your friends and loved ones. Also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss any opportunity to learn and grow every day with all the latest notification of all the important videos from this channel. Let's move ahead. First we have to answer one question in the comment section. The question for the day is Asadi Beach or Asadi Beach is the new year of which part of the state? These are the options. Read the options carefully and then answer it in the comment section. Let's begin now the first question. Save project is being undertaken by India in so survey project is being undertaken by India in Myanmar. So here B is the right answer. And ONGC Videsh Limited has been associated with the exploration and development of survey project in Myanmar since 2002 as part of consortium of companies from South Korea, India and Myanmar. And it was in news because the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has approved additional investment of 121.27 million US dollar which comes around rupees 909 crore by ONGC Limited towards further development of Block A1 and Block A3 of Save Oil and Gas projects in Myanmar. So once this project is completed, India can buy oil and gas from this site as well. The next question now, Commission on Subcategorization of OBCs is constituted under So Commission on Subcategorization of OBCs is constituted under Article 340. So here C is the right answer. It was constituted in 2017 with the approval of President of India and the commission is headed by Justice G. Rohini and the expenditure related to administration cost of this commission would be borne by Department of Social Justice and Empowerment and the body was in use because the union government has approved extension of the term of this commission to examine the issue of subcategorization within OBCs in central list by six months up to 31st of January 2021 and more than 50 of you have already enrolled into this monthly current affairs test series all those 50 are most welcomed you will find the difference after taking the tests and explanations those of you who have not enrolled into it yet I will suggest them to do enroll yourself this is going to be very crucial and very effective for your examinations and this test series will be much different and much more informative than what I was organizing on weekly basis or weekly test. This test will include seven tests. This seven tests will be separate for each subjects which will include polity, economy, international news, science and technology, environment, history and culture, awards, indices, personality, sports which will be covered in the seventh test which will be of miscellaneous. And this test will not only include those topics which are in news for that month, it will include all the related information to that topic so that a comprehensive preparation for your current affairs can be ensured. If you want to have a trial on the first basis, then you can subscribe for the first month to have a trust on the quality of this test. Thereafter, once having the trust on this test series, you can enroll yourself for the later months. There will be no compromise with the quality of the test series. I guarantee that because I will prepare that series with not only the newspapers but also with many other websites of national and international importance as well as all the standard book sources so that every topic can be covered in very comprehensive manner and no added information can be left out because of any of the topics. And for first month subscription or for one month subscription it will cost only rupees 79. For three month subscription it will cost rupees 219. For six, six month subscription, it will cost 439 only. For three month subscription, which is the second plan for this, will cost you a bit less than the first subscription, while the third subscription also will cost you a bit less than what first or second subscription will cost you. And the first subscription will take seven tests. In second subscription, there will be 21 tests. And the six month subscription will have 42 tests in it. And this test will ensure that you sail through the choppy waters of your examinations very easily and very comfortably. Let's move ahead. 
the third question now e blood services which is a mobile application is an initiative of so e blood services a mobile application is an initiative of indian red cross society so here c is the right answer and it was launched for the citizens of national capital of delhi by dr harshvardhan and mobile blood collection units will be sent all across the localities of new delhi by indian red cross society for conducting blood donation camps this will ensure for the easy availability of blood during the rising numbers of cases of covid-19 in delhi the next question now consider the following statements about day of sea farer it is being observed on 26th of june this statement is wrong it is being observed on 25th of june and not on 26th of june this year marks the 10th anniversary of this day this statement is correct international maritime organization is the nodal agency for organizing it this statement is also correct so here only second and third statements are correct so c is the right answer and the day of sea farer was first celebrated in 2011 following its establishment by a resolution adopted by conference of parties to international convention on standards of training certification and watch keeping for sea farers and this conference of parties was set up in 1978 and a meeting of this was held in manila philippines in 2010 where the decision was taken to celebrate 25th of june as day of sea farer day and ultimately it was celebrated in 2011 as the first day of sea farer and the theme for this year is sea farers are key workers i repeat the theme sea farers are key workers the day of sea farer has now been included in annual list of united nations observance as well the next question now devika bridge is being constructed in so devika bridge is being constructed in jammu and kashmir so here d is the right answer and union minister has recently inaugurated two bridges these are devika in udhampur and puneja in doda districts so so they may even ask you the districts in which this bridges has been launched so devika bridge in udhampur and puneja bridge in doda districts next question now consider the following statements about credit guarantee scheme for subordinate debt it has been launched by minister of msmes this statement is correct and the guarantee cover worth rupees 20000 crores will be provided to promoters who can take debt from the bank to further invest in their stressed msmes as equity this statement is also correct so here both of these statements are correct so c is the right answer and the scheme is also called as distressed assets fund subordinate debt for msmes so if they change the name of this scheme then don't confuse and consider the statements of this scheme as well as the another name of this scheme at same and the scheme will be operationalized through credit guarantee fund trust for msmes this scheme seeks to extend support to the promoters of operational msmes which are stressed and have become non performing assets as on 30th of april 2020 so please appreciate this limitation that only those promoters of msmes which have become stressed or non performing assets only till 30th of april and not beyond that can be eligible under this scheme to get debt and promoters of micro small and medium enterprises will be given credit that is loan equal to 15% of their stake a stake here includes equity plus debt or rupees 75 lakh or whichever is lower so please appreciate that this scheme will provide loan to promoters of msmes either 15% of their total stake in msmes or 75 lakh or whichever is lower so if 15% of the total stake is lower then that will be provided or if 75 lakh is lower than this then 75 lakh rupees will be provided to that promoter and here what is the difference between equity and debt see equity is part of loan when someone has claim over a company so in equity the investor has some percentage of ownership in that company while debt in debt there is no such ownership over a company debt is only just a loan which will be repaid after some time with some interest while in equity you get some ownership rights in a company the promoter received under this scheme as loan will be invested by promoters into micro small and medium enterprises itself as equity 
and thereby enhance the liquidity and maintain debt equity ratio. So I hope you are getting the concept here. Under this scheme, promoters or you may say investors of MSMEs can get loan under this scheme. The loan can be either 15% of their stake or 75 lakh, whichever is lower. And these loans will be invested by these promoters into MSMEs itself as equity and thereby it will enhance the liquidity for MSMEs and thus maintain debt equity ratio. And there will be moratorium of 7 years for the payment of principal amount whereas maximum tenure for the payment will be 10 years. Next question now. Which country has witnessed world's largest internet shutdown? So Myanmar has witnessed world's largest internet shutdown. On 21st of June 2019, the mobile internet services were shut down by Myanmar government in 8 townships of conflict hit Rakhine state and in 1 township in Chin state. So remember that there is a state called as Chin state in Myanmar and you must have heard last year about Rohingya crisis. Rohingya crisis who were the community considered as stateless, stateless because Myanmar refused to accept them and Rohingyas flee from Myanmar to Bangladesh and India because of violence conflicted upon them. And the internet services for remaining township will remain shut down till 1st of August 2020. The next question now, Nixa system is associated with, so Nixa system is associated with tuberculosis. Tuberculosis which is a bacterial disease caused by mycobacterium bacteria. So here B is the right answer. And Union Minister for Health released a joint monitoring mission report recently and a manual on direct benefit transfer to TB patients under Nixa system and a trading module and the quarterly newsletter Nixa Patrika. He also released the annual TB report 2020. We are going to see the details of this TB report 2020. But last day, one more article was published in Indian Express. It showed the study published in European Respiratory Journal, which estimates that tuberculosis will cause an additional 95,000 deaths in India in the next five years. Please appreciate that it is not just 95,000 deaths, but it is additional 95,000 deaths. That whatever death is happening in India at present will happen, but instead 95,000 additional deaths will also happen because of tuberculosis in next five years. And if you have not liked the video yet, do like the video and share the video with your friends and loved ones. The next question now, consider the following statements or points listed in annual TB report. So there has been 14% increase in tuberculosis notification as compared to year 2018. This statement is correct. So this is a good sign. This is a good sign that now patients are reporting their cases to hospitals and there has been rise of 14% in TB notifications as compared to the year of 2018. And expansion of treatment services has resulted in a 12% improvement in the treatment success rate of notified patients which was 81% in 2019 compared to 69% in 2018. This statement is also correct. So please appreciate that expansion of treatment services has increased by 12% and it has reached up to 81% in 2019 and it was just 69% in 2018. So since here both of the statements are correct, so C is the right answer again. And provisions of HIV testing for all notified TB patients has been increased from 67% in 2018 to 81% in 2019. And for the first time, Central TB Division has introduced a quarterly ranking on TB elimination efforts by all states and UTs. So now let's see the ranking of these states. The next question is about that. Which state has been awarded? as the best performing states on TB elimination efforts. So Gujarat has ranked first and the best performing states on TB elimination efforts, followed by Andhra Pradesh which ranked second and Himachal Pradesh ranked third in this list. While in the category of a smaller states with less than 50 lakh population, Tripura and Nagaland were awarded the best performing states. So remember in smaller states, Tripura Nagaland ranked the best state, while in larger states Gujarat ranked first, Andhra second, Himachal Pradesh third. And in union territories, 
दादर एंड नगर हवेली एंड दमन एंड दीव वेयर चोज इन एज द बेस्ट परफॉर्मेंस नेक्स्ट एंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ ग्लोबल एजुकेशन मॉनिटरिंग रिपोर्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी हैज बिन रिलीज बाई सो दिस रिपोर्ट हैज बिन रिलीज बाई यूनेस्को सो हियर सी इज राइट आंसर एंड इट शोड दैट ड्यूरिंग हाइट ऑफ स्कूल क्लोजर्स इन द टाइम ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन पैंडेमिक इन अप्रिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ऑलमोस्ट नाइन्टी वन परसेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स अराउंड द वर्ल्ड व आउट ऑफ स्कूल एजुकेशन सिस्टम रिस्पॉन्डेड विद डिस्टेंस लर्निंग सोल्यूशन ऑल ऑफ विच ऑफर्ड लेस और मोर इम परफेक्ट सब्सिट्यूट्स फॉर क्लास रूम इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड इंडिया हैज़ यूज मिक्स ऑफ थ्री सिस्टम्स विच इंक्लूड रेडियो टेलीविजन एंड ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म्स फॉर एजुकेशनल कंटिन्यूटी सो आई होप यू फाइंड द वीडियो यूजफुल डोंट फॉर गेट टू लाइक एंड शेयर द वीडियो subscribe and press the bell icon wait for the upcoming video until then stay at your home stay safe thanks a lot